Hi guys, got another build for you here. Um, I did a build recently for the Barbarian that was a Inferno build and basically if you're playing as like a, um, a melee class Inferno can be quite difficult. They do help you on almost all of the difficulty levels apart from Inferno but yeah, w once you get to Inferno it can get quite tough with a melee class because you can't you can't get the range that you normally would have and ironically I found that the demon hunter in Inferno is probably one of the easiest classes although it's not easy Inferno at all it's one of the easier classes to to tackle Inferno with so I thought I'd give you a build for the monk this one is with Inferno in mind and you can give this one a go if you're having problems um, beating Inferno or getting anywhere with it basically what we're going to do I'll, I'll just put the skills on for your primary skill you're going to go for Deadly Reach project lines of pure force over a short distance for 110% weapon damage every third hit extends, extends 25 yards and you're going to put Keen Eye with that the third strike increases your arm by 50% for 4 seconds um, for your secondary skill, you're going to go for um, a crippling wave. Unleash a series of large sweeping attacks that cause 110% weapon damage to all enemies in front of you. Every third hit damages all enemies around you and dazes them, slowing their movement speed by 30% and attack speed by 20% for three seconds because uh, that obviously helps in Inferno because um, it, you want to try and either daze or slow down the mobs because it's very easy to get overwhelmed okay so going to have concussion with that enemies hit by a crippling wave inflict 20% less damage for three seconds so that keeps their damage down for your defensive skill you're going to go for Serenity. You, inv you are enveloped in a protective shield that absorbs all incoming damage for 3 seconds and grants immunity to all in control impairing effects. And you want to go for Peaceful Repose with that. Um, it just heals you for more life. Or oh, sorry, it adds the ability to heal you for more life. For your techniques, you are going to go for Um, breath of heaven a blast of divine energy heals you and all your allies within 12 yards for 6,000 to 7,500 life and you want to you want to go for the skill rune you want to end well get is um, uh, penitent flame enemies exposed to breath of heaven run away in fear for 1.5 seconds again I know it's not stunning them, but it's keeping the mobs away from you so you don't get overwhelmed. Now, focus, you're going to go for um, Blinding Flash. Create a flash of light that blinds all enemies within 20 yards for 3 seconds. Elite enemies recover faster, but suffer a 30% chance to miss with attacks. So that can help as well. And you want to put Faith in the light on that for three seconds after using it all of your all, all of your attacks are empowered to deal 30% additional weapon damage as holy okay for your mantras um, say so the best one is mantra of healing for inferno recite a mantra that causes you and your allies within 40 yards to gain increased life regeneration by 310 life per second the mantra lasts for three minutes for three seconds after activation, Mantra of Healing shrouds you and your allies with a mystical shield that absorbs up to 930 damage. And uh, if you put Time of Need on that, it also increases resistances to all damage types by 20%. Now, uh, so you can see here, um, basically you've got... You've got your primary and secondary which are like spirit um, spirit generators 
you've got good defensive um, ability here because, well, it will heal you. And then the rest is basically, I mean, you've got two very good healing abilities and you've got a lot of, um, not so much, I mean, some of the, some of the skills with the runes on will stun the enemy or make them run away in fear and basically what you want to do is dazzle the enemy swap between your primary and secondary um, attacks to build up your spirit and you, you should do well you should do a lot better in Inferno obviously you need some passive skills to complement it so go for transcendence every point of spirit spent heals you um, and you want to go for seize the initiative. Your armor is increased by 100% of your dexterity. Because dexterity is one of the main skills of the monk, you should have, well, a, a good armor boost by putting that on. And then your last one, you want to go for one with everything. Your resistance to all elements is equal to your highest elemental resistance. Okay, so give that a go. Um, see what you think. If you're having problems with Inferno, use that build with your monk. And um, yeah, let me know what you think and I'll keep them coming. Okay guys, cheers.